<laughs> bugs, bugs, bugs. Even bugs with bugs. Today we'll be looking at some of the more wacky Minecraft bugs and glitches still present in Minecraft, even in the latest snapshots for 1.15. From TNT that doesn't break blocks, to x-ray vision eyesight, to some of the worst sleep you've ever gotten. And honestly, my friends, that's not even the half of it. So, let's jump right in with number one. Jumping <laughs> on boats stores fall damage. A weird glitch indeed. We've got a boat here. I'm honestly overjoyed. I've got my very own boat and I'm jumping for joy. But be very careful jumping for joy or jumping at all on boats because if you do... You're going to take a lot of damage. As you can see by my hotbar down there, we just took some serious damage from just jumping on top of our boat. That's because for some odd reason, the game glitches out and thinks that you're falling from the sky constantly. And you slowly begin to stack up all this fall damage until it thinks you've fallen from a high place. Now, you're going to want to be careful jumping on a boat at all, even if you're not jumping to solid land. Every once in a while, stopping your jumping on the boat will also deal you fall damage. Now, this is actually not happening right now, but as you can see here, it still happens when you hit ground. Actually, what you just saw a second ago is part of a different glitch. It's glitch number two, the camera glitch for boats. Exit a boat while looking straight down and attempting to move at the same time. As you can see here, the boat moves just fine, but the moment we leave it while looking down, you will occasionally be able to trigger, yet yeah, here it is, a weird movement glitch. Now, in previous versions of Minecraft, this is not how you operated on the top of boats. So it's an interesting one indeed. Is it a game-breaking one? Well, not necessarily. And if we were to leave the boat, we would instantly fix and move as normal, even when hitting land, and as you can see, no stack damage. But looking straight down is going to be the easiest way to replicate this extremely interesting glitch and it is a glitch nonetheless glitch number three throwing the wrong trident i want you guys to pay attention to the first and second slots in my hotbar down below we've got two special tridents here with different enchantments the first trident has riptide on it and the second trident has loyalty to catch y'all up to speed, Riptide will propel you through the water at extremely fast speeds and loyalty when thrown will have the trident come back to you. Hey, where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> there you are. These guys. When you prepare to throw your trident, you will hold it in your arm above you. Now look at what happens though when we switch the hotbar to a different trident while holding down right click. The trident will not only change in direction that it's facing, but since we're currently holding up the loyalty trident, look at what happens if we switch to the riptide and then let go. Well, as you can see here, our riptide trident, even though we had it selected, didn't move anywhere, and the loyalty trident ended up being shot. Similar story, we're holding up the riptide trident, we're gonna scroll over to our other trident and let go. We just use the Riptide enchantment instead. Normally when holding up a trident and switching to a different hotbar slot, you will stop holding the trident. But if you switch over to it and then a different trident, this weird glitch is what happens. More on tridents, glitch number four, charge a trident and then sneak. You will have a floating trident. Look at this. <laughs> Amazing. I'm magical. Imagine you just have powerful hands, can throw tridents in the air, don't need to even touch them. Oh my gosh, stay away from me mobs, you're toast. Glitch number five, water flows through glass panes. So sad, F in the chat for our builders out there. Allow me to explain further. Look at the right side of the block here. The water does not come from that side, it eventually circles around of course, but it does not start from that side. It goes on the other sides. Doing this with a glass pane shows different behavior. First of all, it continues to flow on this side, but not on the other. And oddly enough, that's a behavior that's normally only suited for certain transparent blocks. But look at what happens if we were to place glass panes up here. You see this? It now flows from either direction as well. Better described, there's not currently a way to keep the water on one side. It's always going to be bleeding over onto this other side as well. Lead Dev Dinnerbone knows about the glitch, but it's currently not a priority of theirs. All right, bug number six is awesome. The bug. Bugs bug. Friendly bees, or otherwise known as the dead bee. What we have in hand is a flower, and what we have over here is a bee from the new 1.15 snapshots. Now, bees love flowers, and they will follow you around if you have a flower in hand. Now, here's the thing. If you were to attack one of these bees, he'd get mad, his eyes would turn red, and then he'll come to sting you. Now, this is all normal behavior. However, if you were to attack one of these bees with a flower in hand, the bees will not sting you. In fact, something very weird happens. Y'all ready? 
Look at this. <laughs> he tries to reach me. It's not gonna happen, baby. Oh, oh, look. <laughs> he stopped moving. He's like, he's like playing dead. Oh, good doggy. Look at you. That's so weird. Get far enough away and he'll go ahead and start flying around again. But look, he cannot sting you. It doesn't matter how close you are to the poor thing. And you can even switch slots of where you're holding it and none of it happens. Stinger is still there. You can punch him and he cannot retaliate as long as you have a flower in hand. Now, he's obviously still mad at us if we were to stop holding the flower. He could then sting us once again. But from that point on, <laughs> that's it. Poor, look at him. I want to take one home. More bug bugs. Glitch number seven, bees are arthropods. That's like a real thing, science. But for whatever reason, the bane of arthropods enchantment does not work on bees. See this floating text right here? It's, it says so, so that's what makes it true. We've got a bee and we've got a spider. And each of these swords is a little bit different from the other. One's a regular sword. One has bane of arthropods, five. Now look at what happens when we attack this bee. One. Two. Two hits on that. Same with the spider. One, two. Well, actually, the spider's got a little more health. <laughs> Point being, if we were to use the Bane of Arthropods weapon instead, one hit for the spider, and look at this. Still two hits for the bee. For whatever reason, the enchantment does not work on bees, even though it should. They are arthropods. I imagine this was an accidental oversight. I mean, honestly, who uses the Band of Arthropods enchantment? Glitch number eight. Unlike other mobs, turtles don't like you when you try to feed them in creative mode. We've got a turtle here, and then we've got our regular run-of-the-mill passive mobs. In case you didn't know, when you hold a mob's favorite type of food in your hands, well, guess what? They want you. Look what happens when I hold the wheat. These animals start coming to me instantly. How about the pig, the chicken? Well, carrot will bring the pig running, and the seeds, the same story. So then what happens when we hold seagrass for our turtly friend? He seems mostly indifferent. <sighs> he literally, he doesn't care about anything. Now, this is starkly different because if we were to go into survival mode, you'd see that switching back to the wheat would cause these animals to come running. Once again, the pig would still come to us wherever he, yeah, there he is, <laughs> the chicken. But now look, now the turtle wants some. Look, we're guiding him wherever, oh, big man. Oh yeah, you care about me now, do ya? Thank you so special. Here, try and collect it over there. <laughs> oh, he's mad. Glitch number nine is an ultimate x-ray glitch. Compost and sold sand. <laughs> I'm sold on the new name. Will not suffocate a player. You can even see through the world. So what we have here is a new 1.14 block, the compost bin. You can find these at villages and you can also make them. And soul sand, as you know, is from the nether. Now, we've got some pistons here that are slowly pushing Inwards and outwards, and look at what happens. We can see through caves, x-ray alert, hidden treasures, hidden wonders. Now, doing this in a compost bin, you can't actually escape, but as you can see here, we're not taking any sort of suffocation damage. So you can safely do this without needing to worry about dying, and you can get a nice grip of what's going on around you. The moment we break those compost bins, as you can see here, it's back to business as usual. Soul Sand's even a little bit better, check it out. Now we can still see the hidden cave behind the scenes, but we can actually slightly move out of Soul Sand so that we can press this and escape if we wanted to. You cannot do that with the composter, but you can slowly but surely go inside and outside of the soul sand block. Now, leaving it entirely will keep you from going back in, but naturally you could always just place it again. Now, again, this is working as of the latest snapshot, so any server owners out there, you might want to watch out. You're going to have people x-raying with these blocks. List number 10, flower pots have no bottom. Calm down. That's not what we're talking about. Even though you can see dirt from the top, and as you can see, there's dirt right here. You can see it right in the flower pot, but looking from underneath shows that there seems to be nothing there. Look at that. The cloud? <laughs> Look, I got, I got fit, perfect fit. Stop, stop moving, cloud. But oddly enough, if we were to peek on top of this, you'll see that the dirt texture is in fact there after all. Even though just a second ago, you see, it's gone again. Very weird. My guess is that floating plant plot pot, bleh, bleh, floating plant pots were not intentional design. They probably didn't think people would be placing them like this. Seriously, that's kind of hard to say. Floating plant pots, yeah. We're down to the wire, my friends. Five more glitches. Have you left a like on today's video yet? It helps the channel grow. Thanks, baby. Number 11, looting doesn't work on pandas. Even a 100 looting sword will only drop one bamboo. And we'll compare that to some other mobs in a second. But for the time being, we have a regular diamond sword and a diamond sword with looting five. This is even a greater looting level than you can normally get in survival Minecraft. Upon killing, oh gosh, what a painful sound. Upon killing the poor thing, you get a whopping one. One bamboo, that's it. But now look at what happens if we were to use a looting five sword. 
Oh, this is so painful. Just die faster so I don't have to worry about it. Still only one bamboo despite having used the looting five sword. But now look, we've got a looting 100 sword. And if we were to take it to this panda, please stop looking at me like that. You'd see that despite all that, you still, oh, I didn't even drop one that time. This is so painful. <laughs> you still only get one bamboo. But Tyler, they did that to discourage you from killing pandas. Yeah, well, if that's the case, why if I use a looting 100 on this parrot, I get a stack of feathers. How about a dolphin? Oh, poor thing. Okay, you gotta get over here. A stack of fish. You see what I mean? It was an oversight. Even polar bears, one of the rarest creatures in the actual world, die. <laughs> Wow, man, this guy takes some hits. Look at this. He just dropped a whole mess of... Well, he dropped two. There we go. That time he dropped 15 cod. Point is, normal mobs looting works across the board. But for some reason with pandas, it doesn't. It's a little broken. This one's awesome. Glitch number 12. Going from mounted on a horse or in a minecart to bed will cause you to glitch onto the floor instead of being on the bed. So we're going to go ahead and set the time to night here. We're going to get in this minecart and then get into the bed from here. Now look at what happens. <laughs> Do you see me? I'm just sleeping on the floor. Oh, that's hilarious. I'm gonna try again in this one. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Compare that to normal sleeping. You know, now we're in the bed. But look what happens when we do it with a horse inbound. Y'all ready? <laughs> we're just floating in the air. Okay, now a close up. Oh man, tell me that's not hilarious looking. I don't know why this happens, but it seems to be recent. Hey, thanks for your help, buddy. I wonder if the looting sword will work on you. Glitch number 13, explosions are weak against slabs. It's really weird. We've actually covered a glitch similar to this before. In a previous glitch video, you'll be able to click the eye in the corner to check that one out as well. But look at what happens when we set this TNT down. It's wood. What do you expect's gonna happen? Well, more than that at least. One TNT can only break one slab, and zero if you explode them over water. Before I show you the water though, let me show you that creepers work in the exact same way, this time not blowing up anything. Okay, but to look at this, we're gonna set four TNT down on top of this wood, and for some reason or another, Everything makes it with respect to the wood. Some of the other blocks nearby, they don't do any damage, or they're rather they do get dealt damage. <laughs> but for whatever reason, the wood is perfectly safe. You still mad at me about the seagrass? Yeah, whatever, man. All right, glitch number 14. Blindness gives clarity. While you have blindness, you can see clearly through lava. For now, let's go in without blindness effect. And as you can see, wherever we look is a serious orange glare inside. You can kind of make me out in here, but for the most part, it's pretty hard to see. Now, if I were to give myself the blindness effect, I can't see anywhere except in lava for some reason. Now everything is coming through and I can make out this awesome diamond prize that was hiding behind it. It's, it's a really weird glitch. Perhaps equally as weird as our last glitch today. Ah, Johnny. I hardly knew you, dude. Glitch number 15. A vindicator named Johnny will attack other mobs, but mobs don't seem to defend themselves. What we have in here is a name tag named Johnny. If you didn't know, one of the features of the vindicator is the ability to name it to turn it into a vindicator that will attack anything nearby, including a ravager. Look at that. Yo, he's going to town on his little friend there. But for whatever reason, the ravager is not defending himself. He has no means of which he is trying to, at least. Now, normally, this wouldn't work with mobs, and they would start attacking whatever creature is trying to attack them. Right now, it looks like he's going for a hug. I think he got distracted by me. We step a little bit further away. Yeah, yeah, he's going down on him now. Hold on, I'm gonna get a nice close-up. What's good over there? Oh, boy! Johnny, you're a monster. How could you? <laughs> you gotta make up his mind about what he wants to do with me. Guys, if you have any other weird glitches you want to share with us, leave them in the comment section below, and let us know which glitch today was your favorite. But that's gonna do it. Thanks to Godlander for the map, and we'll see you later.